worried about you. Uh, word, Chief Bennett. It's an urgent police matter. In a minute, Crane. I'm going to have a word with my wife. What? I can't let Julian see me. I have to get off this boat. Get out. Sam, what happened? And why did you leave uh, without me? It's a long story. But what matters is we're together now. I can't believe what I'm seeing. The radio's broken and the ship's compass is missing. How did you plan on going sailing without them? Uh, I, I didn't realize there was a problem with the boat until I took it out for a test run. Well, I can't believe you got back to shore in this fog without a compass. Given the situation, there was no other choice. I, I really must insist that we discuss this Luis Sheridan situation. When the FBI deputized Luis, I lost any authority over him and his assignments. Are you saying you won't help me? No, I'm saying I can't. Now, if there's nothing else we need to discuss, I need to have a word with my wife privately. Excuse me. Our test room before you got here. I thought I'd be back in enough time to meet you. Then I realized there was no compass. I was going to call you on the radio. But it was broken. Well, I guess that's the end of our... Romantic boat trip for night. I hate to disappoint you, Grace, but uh, we can't risk going sailing without the instruments. It's okay. We can just have a romantic night at home. I don't blame you for wanting to get home, Grace. This damp night air is not good for anybody. Yeah, good. That's a good idea. Let's go home. Yeah, my car's up in the dock. I'll give you a ride home. Great. Grace, you coming? You know, I was just hoping we could have a couple of minutes alone on the boat together. Just, just the two of us. Uh, Do you mind, Beat? Mind? <laughs> no, why should I mind? Yeah, um, we'll be there in the car in a few minutes. This is more like it. You know, I was so worried when I got down to the dock and I found out that you left without me. I, I told you I took the boat for a run. No, no, I, I understand that now. It's just earlier. What? I had a premonition that something was trying to keep you away from me. That there was a, a force out there that was conspiring to keep us apart. And then our marriage and our happiness. Whatever you felt couldn't be further away from the truth. I love you with all of my heart and soul. If there is something that's trying to destroy our happiness, I will fight it every step of the way. You are the only woman in the world for me. Don't you forget it. Mm. You're so sweet, Sam. You are so sweet for saying it. Don't you ever doubt my love for you. No, why would I? Grace, there's something I need to tell you. There's something that you really need to know. What is it, Sam? What do you want to tell me? Grace, what I wanted to tell you is... I know what you're going to tell me. That you love me and only me. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Well, let's go home so you can show me. Probably just a wave splashing against the boat. Or a barracuda coming up for some air. I brought the car around. Great. Let's get out of here. Wait, wait, wait. Something's not right. Before Sam docked the boat, you said that I should be prepared in case something happened that I didn't expect. What, what were you talking about, Eve? Oh, I, I just meant that uh, 
Well, you shouldn't be too disappointed if you and Sam weren't able to go sailing after all. Oh, well, I don't care where Sam and I are, as long as we're together. You, you guys go to the car. I, I think I'm gonna have something on the boat. I'll be right there. 